Do you see that? Do you see how soft that is? Do you see? That's ex this is why I wear wigs. Do you know how good this feels? Look look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Gerald here. Gonna be taking you guys through a lookbook of my favorite Amazon wig company called Flower Season Hair. So before I talk to you about the company, let's talk about signature style. Yeah, everybody has their signature style. When it comes to me, even though I change my hair every day, about seven times out of ten, you can count on the fact that I'm going to have big hair. Maybe it'll be big and very long. Maybe it'll be big and short. Maybe it'll be an afro. It's going to be big and noticeable. That is my thing. What comes with that is I feel like when it comes to buying wigs, that usually only synthetic wigs give me the density I want when it comes to a big curly wig. When human hair has the density and the thickness I want, it tends to cost a lot more tends to be on the much higher end. And so you end up buying synthetic wigs that I'm not really a fan of. And so in my early days of buying wigs, I got a few synthetic ones that are pretty similar to this hair I have on in front of me. When it comes to synthetic hair, I'm not that comfortable with it. I don't like the way loose synthetic hair feels on my skin. It gets itchy after a certain amount of time. Sometimes there's a lot of wigs and extension styles where it can just look real plasticky. Um, you don't get to style it very much because it has heat limitations. If you heat it up too much, it will melt on you. It really will. And there's no coming back from that. Same for tangles. You see, when you, you tangle synthetic fake hair, you have a few times to detangle it, and it'll go back to what it used to look like. But after a certain point, no. No. That's just the look now. All fake hair tangles especially affordable fake hair. It tangles. With human hair, with good quality human hair, you can count on when you untangle it, it goes right back to the look. And it'll go right back to the look for a long time until it starts to shed like crazy. That's how you know that that's done. But that's also, again, human and synthetic hair. They both tangle and they both shed. You get used to it. You get used to it. You don't want to, but you do. You do. You live with hair all the time. You gotta clean up hair all the time. I love very thick hair and so I'm used to when I and so I became accustomed to when I wanted hair very thick I'd have to either make a wig myself or buy a synthetic wig that I'm not gonna wear a few times and take some nice pictures of it with and then never really want to wear it that much again so yeah but then I came across an advertisement for the wig you see here and that is how I got introduced to flower season hair. Um, this wig I'm wearing is a full cap wig. I like lace front wigs, I have a lot of them, but I always prefer full cap. I prefer full cap because they just come on and off so much easier. And that's what I'm all about. Even with my lace front wigs, I don't, I don't glue them down and I don't overnight them. Any wig on my head, I'm gonna aim to take it off when I'm done with the day. Full cap it is. This is a full cap wig. It is 200% density. It is human hair. And before I bought the wig, I did my most important step, which is reading the reviews. And the picture reviews weren't all that great. In fact, a lot of the picture reviews gave the wig like one to two stars. These are older reviews when it was like two or three reviews. Now, it, for this wig, it's a lot of reviews. And they're mostly good. People know what I know now. But the reviews seem to come from people who are not that familiar with buying a human hair wig like this. I talked about synthetic versus human hair. There is something too. When you buy a synthetic wig, you can almost take it right out the pack and put it on your head and leave the house. Even then though, please do something. Stop doing that. Stop it. 
Nothing makes a wig look more like a wig than when you take it right out the bag and put it on and then leave the house. With human hair, especially human curly hair, especially with human kinky curly hair, you can't do that. You gotta take it out the bag. Don't put it on, because it's never going to look that way again. You gotta wash it, shampoo it, condition it, detangle it while you're conditioning it, rinse it, maybe repeat the process again. And then you let it dry, and then you let it dry, let the curls reform, and put in the right curl products that you better have. <laughs> and then you put it on, but even then, it doesn't stop there. See, that's where a lot of people in the reviews messed up too. You don't just put it on and it's, and it's done. Because the way these wigs, the way these wigs come that I'm going to show you guys, it's all basically the same. So what the company does is they add the hair to the full cap and do a blunt cut of whatever length you buy it. And then for all the full caps, for some reason I don't quite like or understand, it's an automatic bang. I'm not that much of a bang guy, so that wasn't going to work for me. But then too, when I first put the wig on, after doing all the detangling, after doing it all right, then you, know, you are on some serious level Rosanna Dana Dana with how these wigs first look when, you're, when you start them. Unless you're adding tracks in, which this is not that video, we might do that later. Um, there's no getting rid of the bangs, even now with this one, yeah, no, the bangs are still there. The bangs are still there. I'm just not that much of a bang guy. Not a bad look. It's just not my look. I feel like I look like Rick James. I get my good Rick James on with this when I have my bangs. But, you know, that's, this isn't quite me. It's not not me, but it's not a look I'm going to, like, leave the house in, really. So, this I will. This I will. It's just that. It is just that. See that? This is why we get human hair. Because, you know, see how... See how the curls just react like that? See how, see how they just know what to do? Yes. I bought the wig, cut my layers into it, and yeah, this wig is gorgeous. It is stunning. It is everything I hoped it would be. And anyone who buys wigs know that's a trap because I found myself wanting more like it. <laughs> so, you know, it, it could, because it's very seldom that when you buy a wig that you like a lot, you just use that one. No, you want multiple so that you can alternate. Because if you just use one, you're going to use the hell out of that one. And no one wants to do that. So, in gratitude for how great this company has been with their products, I want to share with you all their products that I have and talk you through the cool looks that come. And maybe throw some business there. Maybe they'll give me a discount with this. Maybe I'll do another video with more flower season hair wig. But now we start with these. These are eight wigs that I got from Flower Season Hair off of Amazon.com. So, this first one I got, this is the Afro Curly Unit. So, I love it. This is 20 inches, but as you can see, I cut some deep layers into it. I love it. It is perfect. I'm actually very much toying with the notion of possibly coloring it. If you look at the reviews, you will see that there's a lot of people who've done that with all, with all the wig textures from this company. A lot of people have experimented with colors with them, and it looks really good. So, maybe. Maybe with this one. So, this next one I got was the 16-inch Jerry Curl wig. This is the picture I saw for it. Link for it in the description below. Um, now, this one I was very curious about because it got horrible reviews. Horrible reviews, but... The picture looks so good, so I was very curious. The price I paid for the 16 inch was very affordable. Again, all these wigs are crazy affordable for the quality of hair and the amount of hair they give you. So this is the, six, is the 16 inch, 200% density, Jerry Curl human hair wig. This is the 16 inch Jerry Curl I was talking about. So I really love this one. Again, 200% density. Again, comes with bangs that I do not use. So yeah, I just flip it back. And uh, yeah, it came again one length, but I did some layers for it. These are some of my favorite layers I've done because with 16 inches, when it's one layer, it cannot look like 16 inches. Sometimes it looks shorter. Sometimes it looks, you know, crazy. But... With cutting in layers, it really gives you the full look. The full look. So, I really like these curls too. So this is one of those things where 
this is why I wear wigs because my real hair could technically do something very similar to this if it's treated right and has the right products and the right twist out and whatever but why would I bother doing that when I can just put this right on and take it right off and my real hair is just chilling underneath I love this hair I, I love how this hair looks how it looks in pictures how it looks on this video right now now my only con with this wig that I was actually very disappointed in Though I really love this look and how, again, it translates and looks with everything. I don't, the feel of the hair, it feels a little old. And it's nothing to do with the, with the company or anything. It's like this was probably an older wig that they sent that probably they've had for a while. And the way you could tell that when human hair feels hard, that means it's old. And that means... It can tangle easier, and that said, it tangles the easiest of any of the ways I'm going to show you tonight. So, and it's because of this hard hair texture. It feels a lot harder than it looks. So, I'm guessing this wig might even be a few years older than, you know, what they thought. And it might, it might just be a mistake or an oversight on the company. Either way, I wanted to give them another chance, so I wanted to see how this wig would translate longer. So the third wig I'm about to show you is the 20 inch Jerry Curl wig that is basically the same curl pattern, just 4 inches longer. This is a complete 180. How I was saying, my con with the one I just showed you, the 16, is the way it feels. Just like I said, I can't blame the company because this is one of the best feeling. You see that soft? See that? See? Do you see that? Do you see how soft that is? Do you see? That's ex this is why I wear wigs. Do you know how good this feels? Look! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! So this feels better than the 16 inch for sure. You know, just like I said, I can't blame the company for that one. I've considered eventually getting another one another 16 inch just to see if it's just that one where the hair is hard like that this is very soft hair this is very fresh this is very this wig will last for a long time this this hair is not going to get old and hard and stiff anytime i recommend this jerry curl wig now this is that real rick james look right there that's that real that's that real 1985 party all the time got the glow ebony eyes unity Fire and Desire, Rick James right here. Not the braids, Rick James. This is the this is that good Rick James hair. This is when he took a break from the braids for a little bit, you know. I might be Rick James for Halloween this year. You know, I got the wigs for it. So, yes. Let me tell you about my next one. Okay, so this wig you're seeing here is actually in the running. Maybe top five for my favorite wig that I have on me. And I have a lot of wigs, so that's saying a lot. I recently did a long stay in Detroit for seven weeks. Um, and I only took six wigs with me. And this was one of them. If you saw me in Detroit, very likely you saw me in this one. If it was an informal setting, you likely saw me in this one. One reason this might be my favorite is just in general, I love a deep wave curl pattern. It is my favorite curl pattern to get because you get the luxury of when it's curly is this easy to deal with it is the most easy to untangle but when you comb it out oh it can be a massive afro it can be a massive beautiful afro it's very easy to deal with it's the easiest hair to deal with it's the easiest hair in my opinion and for, for what i want and the look i want this hair gets the job done the easiest so this is the 18 inch this is the first one i got of this kind the picture sold me and yeah, this was perfect. Um, funny thing is, it's actually way longer than it looks now. When it came, it was much longer than it looks. So I did some deep layering on this one. And that's also why this one might be my favorite is I really like how I did the layers on this. On this I'm going to show you guys my layering technique in one of these upcoming videos soon. But very nice. Again, this is the 18 inch. Link for this one will be below. With falling in love with this one, I was really curious too to see what that 20 do. And here's how that one looks. And this is my 20 inch deep wave wig. So, you see, 
I love it. Now, admittedly, this one I've combed out. I decided since I have three of these, I'm going to show you different variations of the styles you can get. It's just so to they're not all looking the same in one video, you know. So this one I just simply big tooth comb combed out, and yeah, fantastic. Look at that. Look at that. This is what we love. But yeah, I cut layers in this one, but they are not as obvious. They are not as deep. They're basically just so it's not one huge length. But um, I wanted, again, even outside of the video, I really wanted to differentiate the looks between this one and the 18 inch because, you know, 20 inches is only two inches more. So it doesn't look entirely different from the 18 inch that I got, but um, it feels different. The 18 inch has a lot more volume up here that you might have noticed, which I'm more of a fan of. But I really like how this one lays and I really like how this one one moves to and everything. So, you know, it's a good purchase. Now, like I was saying, I was on a seven week trip in Detroit. Only has six weeks. The trip was not originally going to be seven weeks. That's the reason I only bought six. And as the trip went on, I decided to try a shorter one. So I got me a Deep Wave 14 inch, just so it can be noticeably different from this one in the 18 inch, but also short enough to be a little bit more conservative when I need it to be, but also just easier to manage. You know, while I'm traveling, if I'm wearing wigs, I want to keep it relatively simple, which is also another reason I didn't bring too, too many. Got me the 14 inch just to see how that one looks. And this is the 14 inch. All right. And then this here is the 14 inch one. So this one is another one where I really, I'm again, blown away. Another reason why it's my favorite. So for this style I did for showing you guys this one, left a little bit of bang to it because I kind of cut it that way to where it'd be, if I'm gonna wear bangs, it's gonna be messy bangs. It's gonna be, this kind of bang really so you know something like that something that hides the face completely something it's gonna be something like that really so you know that's these are my kind of bang this is my kind of bang look it's gonna be something that compliments so another one where I actually I bought it I bought it I want to say two or three weeks ago but I just cut the layers in yesterday. I, I debated about doing these layers on camera for you guys, but nah. So that'll be another one. But yeah, again, I combed this one out too, just to show you guys the difference in the look. Was really good. See, I just recently did a good wash on this one, so it's not going to afro for me yet, but I, but I really like the look when it is huge, when I pick it out and it's just perfect. But yeah, this is the 14 inch. Um, again, it's shorter, noticeably shorter, a lot lighter. But yeah, man, this is, this is that deep wave. This is that, this is that loose wave curl pattern here. And it's just, it's very comfortable. This next one is going to be the water wave. I always got deep wave and water wave mixed up. They are pretty much exactly alike. Only slight difference. And for this one, I wasn't able to get on Amazon. I googled the company and found out that they have an AliExpress with all kinds of wigs that they don't have on Amazon. So this is the first wig I got from them on the AliExpress it is the Waterwave 16 inch. Okay, and this is the 16 inch Waterwave. As you can see, it's very similar look to the Deep Wave. What I found in my years of dealing with fake hair and hair in general is the main difference between Deep Wave and Waterwave is that Deep Wave is a, is, a real, is a little bit more of a tighter curl pattern. So you can still get away with an afro for this one, uh, for a Deep Wave. For a Water Wave, just like I said, it's a little bit looser of a curl pattern and you can't quite afro. It can get puffy, but it's not gonna give me the volume up here that I can, that I can get with any of my Deep Wave units. That's it though, I really like this look. I really like this length. That 16 is perfect. 16 is usually between 14 and 16, that's usually the shortest I like to go. That's usually the shortest I'm most comfortable with going. Something that's sitting right here, this is actually pretty much the length of my actual hair too. A little shorter, actually. 
So something about wearing a wig that is comparable to your natural hair, you feel a little bit more natural too. So yeah, to your natural hair length, you feel just a little bit more natural too. At least I do. So anyway, this is the 16 inch water wave and I love it. Um, I'm going to link it below, but like I said, I got it from AliExpress, not Amazon. I think it is on Amazon right now, but either way, it is from the same company, Flower Season Hair, and hey, this is for them. I really appreciate this company. I really appreciate bringing quality hair at an affordable price, and that looks good, that feels good, and this next one I show you is one of the most beautiful wigs I've ever seen, and I'm very happy to have it. And it will be the final wig of the evening. So check it out. It's the 4C 200 density 22 inch. All right, and this is that. This is the 4C 22 inch. 200 density human hair wig from flower seasons hair the last wig of the evening and <laughs> this is the grand finale so i was just telling someone very recently that i got this wig and it's a lot of work i have a i have a few 4c wigs and they're all labors of love and that's 4c hair in general your real hair fake hair human hair, synthetic hair, this hair, that hair. If it's 4C, it's work. It requires work and prayer and a lot of damn conditioner. And hey, I put in the work and just yesterday, these results, these results. I did a deep conditioner treatment on this one. And yeah, it's everything I want it to be. However, that's it though. I'm not gonna be wearing this one out in public much just because this, it, it had the need for tangling. It, you can, it wants to tangle. It very much wants to. But I really love it for pictures, for videos. So, gonna get a lot of those in there. But still, as far as the look goes, this is one of my favorites. Um, it is so very long. It is so very long, but it comes to that comfortable length I was just talking about. So, you know, if you get it, just do whatever you want. Just make sure you give it lots of love. That goes for all the wigs that I've just shown you. Flower Season Hair is the name of the company. They are on, they are on Amazon. They are on AliExpress. You're going to see links to each individual wig that I've just reviewed in the link below. You're also going to see the link to the... Um, company page below so you can see wigs that I have not reviewed that some of some of which I plan on checking out there's a few on there I'm very interested in but thank you guys so much for watching please check out that company again they give you the look that you that you want in synthetic hair but with human hair like come on you can't beat that and it's affordable please like subscribe comment with any questions you have below you can follow me on Facebook Instagram I'm on Patreon. If you'd like to, if you'd like to help fund more content, more wig purchases, I'd love to do a part two video on flower season hair. So you know, I would need more flower season hair. I showed you all the flower season hair I got tonight. So you know, we'll see. Anyway, <laughs> I really appreciate you guys. Um, Going to be doing more content of various different types. This, this is my first company and product review. I really hope you guys liked it and take care of yourselves and each other.